everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so we're doing the next video in this series, the Make a Junction With Me series, making these two journals out of a Daphne's Diary magazine. So here is one of our covers made from the front cover of the magazine and our other cover made from the back cover of the magazine. So here's the magazine. We're not actually going to use this um, anymore till we make more journals out of it but we've already got all of our pages here and what I've done is pulled out two of each type of page so that these can be um, like sisters I suppose <laughs> um, I'll link below the playlist for this Make a Junction With Me series if you want to find out or watch how I made the covers and how I chose my pages If and if you want to um, actually follow along and make the exact same journal as me, you can. Um, I have seen on eBay there's still some of these magazines left on eBay. So yeah, anyway, but you don't need the same magazine. You can use whatever um, magazine you have or whatever issue of Daphne's Diary you have. So what I'm going to do is separate these pages to each journal. That's what I need to do in this video. So what I'm going to do is just look at the covers and that always tells me what I put in each journal. So this has a lot more yellow in the cover, so I'm going to put that one with that one. This has more of the blue, let's put that with that. Alright, and then, oh well, that's right, I had two of these. Oh, sorry, I had three of these and I just wanted to choose which ones would go together. So I'm thinking that that one might go for my journal because these two look the most similar, maybe? I think. And then which one will go with which journal? <laughs> it's a bit of a muchness. Um, so that one I think will go with that one. The reason being only just because there's this full flower here which kind of matches that full flower there. But it could be either one. But that's just how I think about it. Um, Okay, it's a little bit tricky to get everything in frame, but hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll put those up there. Oh, maybe I can use like that so you can see the covers, and then I'll put the things here. Um, oh, I have an extra page. So that one actually um, did one. No, okay. Put that aside because I feel like these two match more because they've got patterns. That one's got an actual picture on it, so we'll keep that for now. We can always swap things around later if we need to. Okay, so this is our next one, more of like a vintage vibe to the pages. Let's put those ones aside for now just because they're not exactly the same. I want to just do the easiest ones first. So we've got two of these bird ones, again much of a muchness, but I feel like that one has more of the yellow tones in it, so we'll put that one with this one. You can go here, but I think these journals are going to be kind of a mixture of all colours, and that works doesn't it, because we've got pink, we've got yellow, we've got blue, we've got green, we've got yellow, green, blue, pink, so they'll have that colour theme for both journals I reckon. But I think I'm going to more pick out the pink, the blue and the green. Just because yellow is my least favourite colour. <laughs> so okay this one's really pretty. I could actually have kept that for my journal honestly because I love it so much. But because they work as a pair I want them to go together. So this one has more yellow in it. So I put that one with you. Okay, so this one has more yellow, so that one will go with that, yeah, cool, um, okay, let's have a look here, oh these are really pretty actually, <laughs> I really like those, I'm going to put that in my journal, but again because they're a pair, um, I feel like, oh I don't know which one, it's a bit of a muchness, but I feel like this one's more blue toned than the other one, so I'll go for more of the pink and it has the oranges in there. 
And then we have these two, which is so great for journaling space and to give a variety of look to the pages. All right, well, that one's clearly the yellow one. <laughs> this is clearly the more blue one. Just checking, yep, more yellow on that one. And then I like how there's a loose bird motif or theme through this. We had some birds in a different page, and then this one we've got the feathers. So, um, okay, well, again, I think this one's more of a blue one. We'll put the pink one with this one, but again, it really doesn't matter. And then we've got these two. All right, so that one's the yellow one. That's got more of the blues. I'll just double check. Oh, look, a cat. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. Alright, and then I've just got these two. So what I think I will do is... Yellow frame. Let's just do that. Have a yellow frame so you can go there and you can go there. Okay, so that is choosing my pages for each of the journals and just my thought process around um, how I choose which ones go with which one. So this is what I mean by I'm very methodical and there's a reason why I, whenever I put something into a journal there's a reason why it's in there. It's not just random like oh let's just put that there. I'm thinking how does it match? How does it fit together as an overall theme? Do the colours match? Does the theme match? Does it work with the cover? Do they work together? Um, so that's how I kind of think about them. Um, and put them together. Hope that's kind of helpful and uh, let me know if it is in the comments. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to talk out my process as much as possible, um, especially for the beginner who just um, wants to have a bit of a guide as to how to put things together. But really, honestly, I always at the end of the day say just do it the way you want to do it. If you prefer random, do random. If you don't want to overthink it kind of like this, just go easy on yourself and just do whatever suits your eye um, but yeah just wanted to share that that's how I do it that's what I'm thinking about and hope it's helpful <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching um, let's do the catchphrase you are a gem you are a gift to the world <laughs> bye guys